Oh, I hate me for doing this. Guys, my name is Logan. I am your host for Rogues of the Coast. Welcome back to this train wreck of a channel. Hi. <laughs> so this video is going to be different in two, in two ways. So the first way it's going to be different is going to be on the technical side where I have camera three, camera two, camera one, because I'm doing things backwards. It's a bit of a holdover from Rogues Cast Radio, a podcast that I'm on with my friends Jay and Jody. Thanks, Jay. Now, you can go find that on Google Podcasts, Podbean, Spotify, Amazon, and iHeartRadio. I had to list it over here. Anyways, we talk about nerd stuff and it's a lot of fun. Go check it out. Now, the other part of this is I'm going to be playing League of Legends, obviously because I hate myself. But we already fucking know that. We know. It's okay. And I'm going to be doing things a little bit differently. We're not going to be watching me for 25, 30 minutes until I just give up and die and be bad. Like, you're not going to have to watch me be super terrible the entire time. Because I know. I know. But what I am going to do is I'm going to take a champion I absolutely hate playing against, Urgot, for this video. And play as him. Because I'm awful. And I'm out of ideas. Anyways, I'm going to take a week. I'm going to play Urgot. See what I like about him. See what I don't like about him. And try to understand why people play him. I hate playing against Urgot. He just dive bombs me, hook chains me, and murders me all the time. It is what it is. Again, I'm bad, so I don't know if Urgot's good. That, does that make sense? Does that make sense? Yeah? Okay. Anyways, that's the theme of the video. I'm going to take a champion I absolutely hate playing against. I'm going to play as them for a week, and then I'm going to come to a conclusion after that. Dear God, I hate this idea. Why are you letting me do this? Why are you still watching? Anyways, thank you for watching. <laughs> So this E animation takes so long that this misfortune is going to dodge a flash E combo just immediately. I hit flash, immediately hit E, but the wind up is so long she's just able to run away. Not even in a zigzag pattern, like out of the arrow's tra trajectory, just away. And honestly, then you get E's like this that should not succeed. I don't know why. How? I, <laughs> you know, good follow up for me, but I wasn't able to finish the deal because she flashed. Oh well, this E seems really inconsistent. All right, so here's probably my favorite clip of this game. It's an E and Q miss. There's so much delay on this, it's almost like lag is built into Urgot's kit. I can't stand it, it's really tough to deal with. And she just gets away scot-free. I had a pretty good setup, I was able to actually get there, and then you see it actually hits her, but no damage is done, none whatsoever. It feels like no matter what I do, especially with ranged champions, I can't outpoke them, I can't engage, everything's so slow, it's just not worth playing Urgot in the top lane or any lane that he's got to deal with poke like this. Just my opinion. Alright, so here's something I absolutely love about Urgot, is the lane clear. That W, look at it. Everything went wrong except for that W. I'm doing damage, I'm able to hit her, I even hit her with the R, which is really nice. Slows her down quite a bit, which... God, that's nice. Like, that is one of the few times in this entire game where I was able to 1v1 Misfortune and have some sort of success. It's really nice to know that if I engage in that kind of manner, I can clear the lane, not have to worry about minion damage, and I can just rapid fire damage. Also, at this point in the game, I have, I have W on infinite, because once you get it all the way up there, it's infinite. It's great. I love it. It's a lot of fun. Like, it is fun in the truest sense. And this is a pain in the butt situation. I was able to hit that <laughs> hit that blast cone and get away from Warwick. That was good. I hate Warwick so much. I know why people are playing. He's a good champion. But man, yeah, the W. The W is fun, 100%. These scenarios right here, team fights. This is where I found most of my success with my E's and my, and my Q's. I could come in as a secondary initiator, just CC one of the biggest threats, put a shield on me, get in the middle of the fight, throw on my W, and just start trying to clear out and do as much damage as I can, and hitting my Q whenever I think about it, to be honest. That's where I found most of my success as a laner for, not Scion, for Urgot. I think that's where he really shines. He has a bruiser tank sort of look to him, but I think he's more of a bruiser, and I don't know why I'm going Frostfire. I just am. Don't judge me. Unironically, the most fun I had throughout the entire week of playing Urgot was when I was dumb enough to put him in the jungle. Everything about his kit screams jungle to me. Here I went with W first, 
and I've got to be pretty sure about my positioning with my W just to make sure I proc all those passive attacks off of the W. But then I go straight into Q, that's AoE damage, goes right into chickens. Or if you're starting on the blue side, you go blue into wolves or gromp and what have you. That's unleashed. That's all it is. It's not hard. It's not difficult. I think his kit is more attuned to being a jungler. And... When I went up to Crab, I'll show you here in a minute, I'll probably skip to it, but I had no issue taking down Crab at level 3. It's not a big issue. I loved playing him in jungle. Yeah, so Urgot is kind of a farming machine. He really is. I was able to knock out four camps before Crab even spawns. I took out Red, I took out Chickens, Wolves, and Gromp. Now I take off a shield with my E, pop W, and just hit him with the shotgun blast and dead Crab as soon as he pops up and my blue buff is still available for me to go get. He's a good farming champion, and I really believe that he is misplaced in lane. I loved playing him in jungle, and I didn't have much of an issue. This is just a practice shot that I did because I forgot to record actual gameplay, but Urgot can farm. He really can. He's got great lane clear. So once he really gets rolling, he's got great lane clear for split pushing and what have you. I think Urgot needs to be in jungle more. And the only time I've ever seen Urgot in jungle is when my stupid ass decided to do it. Around five and a half minutes, I end up backing for my first Tiamat, which I'm going to turn into Titanic Hydra, which helps clear out camps a lot faster. Now, once that starts rolling, Urgot becomes quite a vicious camp killing farm machine. And I can do a lot of really nifty things that way. I can start just snowballing over and over and over. Sometimes I found myself not having enough to do. Now I can just engage with my Q from afar, get them aggroed, and start circling with my W. It's important to have that circular motion going on. That way you keep procking all the, all the shotgun blasts. So I had just gotten Stridebreaker, and at a certain point I decided, hey, let me see if I can just clear out all of the camps before anything respawns, and I mean the entire map. So that's what I tried to do. I ended up getting Stridebreaker, Titanic Hydra, Mobility Boots to get to and from camps really fast. But man, I I got done with it pretty fast. The, the top lane is still up there, but that's what I ended up doing. Like I, I tried to make this as fast a clear as possible for Urgot, and I had fun doing it. Like, again, I keep harping on it. Urgot needs to be in the jungle. He does not need to be in a lane. And when you get really good at his R, you can slow enemies down. You can just start sniping people from jungle. Drive by Urgot. All right, so it has been a week later. I've even taken down notes. Holy crap. So realistically, the things I really don't like about this champion are the Q and E, specifically in lane. Now, in the jungle, I think it's fantastic. It lets you clear out camps really fast. It lets you use a shield. You have really good targets. But in lane, holy crap, it's so difficult to hit these things for me. Again, this is for me. I'm bad at this game because we know I'm trash. Now, the W, holy crap, that's just fun. That is good old-fashioned American fun. I really appreciate it, really love it. You set it, you forget it, you don't have too much to manage. It does, it does take some skill and positioning to use, but overall, it's just fun. Riot, pay attention, fun. All right, the R is bullshit. The R has always been bullshit. I, I feel like it's a little less bullshit now that I realize that there is a skill cap to it. Like, you have to have it at the appropriate level, like health level for your enemy, and there's a skill shot to it. Overall, I think that's fair. I really do. It's not a lot of fun when it's used on you, but at least I think it's fair. Overall, I like Urgot a lot more than I did. He's not going to be in my no normal rotation, though. I have more respect for the people that can beat my ass in lane with Urgot now, but I still hate the champion a lot. I really do. I hate him a little less. I have a better understanding how to play against him. You know, spacing and what have you. I know what the timing, the wind-up is for the Q&E in lane. And hopefully, somebody's going to watch this and start playing Urgot in jungle and pissing me off more. <sighs> Fuck it. First one done. Woo! Guys, don't forget to go check out the podcast. Roastcast Radio. Google it. You're... Google it. 
Now, the next one on my list is probably going to be 